Hey guys, David here from Google Gift 5 Tech Tutorials and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 8. Okay, so let's get started. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 8 from your Windows 8 installation DVD or USB drive onto your computer. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to insert the USB or DVD into your computer and boot from that. Now some computers you will have to go into your BIOS or you might have a certain key combination in order to boot from an external device. However, most modern computers will just boot directly from the USB or DVD if it detects it in there. Anyway, so once you've gone ahead and started booting from that, you should see this Windows 8 logo here and it'll just start doing some stuff now this can take a minute so just be patient okay so now once that's done you will be greeted with this screen here it's the window setup select your language time and currency format keyboard or input method just hit next and hit install now now it'll just take a minute for the setup to start. And now, unlike in Windows Vista and in Windows 7, it makes you put in your product key before you install it, and you can't skip this step. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in my product key, and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, now once you have put in your product key and clicked Next, you should be greeted with the license terms. So you could just hit I accept the license terms, hit Next. And now it's going to ask you if you want to do an upgrade or a custom installation. An upgrade is if you have a previous version of Windows already installed on your computer, but that's not what we're doing here. You can select that if you want and all your files and settings will be kept. However, I'm going to be doing a clean installation. So if you want to do a clean installation, just hit custom. And you should see some drives in here. So what you need to do is just hit drive options and you can play around with this a bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hit new. I'm going to hit apply, I'm going to hit okay. And it has gone ahead and just created two drives. So one is for our main Windows installation, and one is just for some Windows files that it likes to keep on a separate partition. So once you've gone ahead and made your drives, all you have to do is hit Next, and it will start installing Windows. So this process can take quite a while. Your computer might reboot a few times during the process. This is normal, so just be patient, and I'll come back when this is completely done. Okay, so that probably took about 15 to 20 minutes. My computer did restart a few times during the process, but after your computer has restarted a few times, it should be brought to this screen here. So this is just basically where you're going to start personalizing your Windows experience. So it's going to ask you to choose a color scheme. I'm just going to choose this red color here. It's going to ask you to give your computer a name. So I'm just going to name it win8-vb for VirtualBox since I'm doing this in VirtualBox. And once you've gone ahead and done that, just hit next. Now it's going to ask you if you want to use express settings or if you want to customize. I highly suggest clicking customize so that you can see exactly everything that's going on. So it's going to ask you if you want to share your files on the network. That's up to you. I'm just going to hit yes because I like to share my files. It's going to ask you about automatic updates. I recommend just leaving all this at the default, but you can go through that if you'd like. Again, this is just basically asking if you want to send some information to Microsoft to help them make Windows and apps better. I'm just going to leave this all off, but it's up to you. You can check for online solutions to problems and you can share information with apps. So that'll basically let apps see your personal information. Again, I'm just going to leave that at the default. And at this part, it's going to say sign into your PC and it's going to ask you for an email address. So basically, it either wants you to sign into your PC with a Microsoft account, so that's a Hotmail, Live, or Outlook account, so that would be your email address and password, or you can also sign in without a Microsoft account, so this will make you a localized account, which will just be stored on this computer. If you use a Microsoft account to sign into your computer, you can get your Windows 8 experience on any other Windows 8 computer. However, the security of this is still questionable, so I like to make a local account. So I've gone ahead and just clicked local account, I'm going to hit local account again. I'm going to make a username, a password. I'm going to re-enter my password. And I'm just going to hit finish. And once you've gone ahead and selected your login method, it's just going to take a minute to finalize your settings. And I was just going to start showing you a bit about how Windows has changed and how to use Windows 8 while it's making your account and setting up the computer. So this might take a few minutes, so I'll come back when this is done too. Okay, and once that process is done, probably take about five to 10 minutes, you should be brought to the new Metro start screen and your installation of Windows 8 is complete. So now you can go on and install drivers for your computer and install your programs. So thanks for watching and I hope I helped. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. 
Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. And also don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter page. Also don't forget to check out my website at www.google55techtutorials.com. All the links are in the description below.